up YouTube is it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can use the shape builder tool to create more complex shapes quickly and easily using lots of other shapes. So we're going to start by selecting our line tool, left clicking anywhere on the artboard and holding shift to draw a straight line. We can then select the ellipse tool and just left click and hold shift to create a perfect circle. Now if we go up to view just make sure that our smart guides are selected and when I drag this circle towards my line you'll see it snap into place nicely there with our pink smart guides. Now selecting this circle we're just going to hold shift to drag it perfectly horizontally and alt to create a copy and you'll see that just snap in place there. Same again we're just going to left click on this left circle and holding alt you'll see that little arrow flashing next to my cursor, that just indicates that I'm going to be creating a copy by holding down the Alt key. And let go. And we're going to do one more and just make this a bit bigger. So we can see all our circles are overlapping. And if we go into preview mode, that's Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, we can zoom in to these points and just check everything lines up and touches. Okay, let's come back out of preview mode. So this is our shape. If we now select all the elements of this shape and now select our shape builder tool, we can left click inside any one of these segments. And as we drag through other segments, you'll see the red lines indicate what our final shape will look like. Effectively, we're combining all these shapes quickly and easily. So this is an alternative way to create more complex shapes, whereas typically you'd be using something like the Pathfinder tool. Now I've selected all the different segments. If I let go, you'll see that it finishes and completes my shape. And we've got these pointy parts here. We can just select the shape, go into the stroke palette, and just round off those corners. It just gives it a bit of a softer edge. So you could have it like this, or you could swap the fill and the stroke. And there we go. We've created a more complex shape using lots of other shapes using the Shape Builder tool. As always, guys, leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.